Hello everyone, and welcome back to World of Warship Splits with Terry. Today we're talking about the new Blitz Pass, and the contents of the new Blitz Pass, the main of this, being the ship that you get, and it's actually a premium this time. It is the USS Hill. Now, there's a bit of confusion here on my part, because if we look at the actual description in-game, it says that this was a draft design for a destroyer flotilla leader for at the end of World War I. And it does say built in 1918, and it says Hill class. Now, I haven't really been able to find any information about this thing outside of Wargaming's own description of it. And I have found a USS Hill, which is a very different ship. It is an Edsel class escort. So, 76 millimeter guns, one torpedo launcher, and mostly for anti-submarine warfare. So definitely not this ship. Now the interesting part of the story though, of the actual USS Hill that I was able to find, is that while she was, uh, she herself had a very uneventful life as a ship, one of the other Edsel class destroyer actually got into an accident with a cargo ship and the front fell off, not, not, not of the cargo ship, but of the destroyer. So they had to rebuild that bit and while they were at it, they actually went and implemented the plan that they had to put 127mm guns on these things. So that wouldn't match, mm, not just this, but well, obviously the torpedoes don't match, but it would also match the timing a little bit more. When we'll get to that in a second. Now, the actual USS Hill that I found, and I'm just going to talk, talk about her because, uh, well, haven't been able to find anything about this ship. The actual USS Hill was um, named after a Chief Boson Hill, who was a sailor on the USS Nevada, the battleship. And during the attack on Pearl Harbor, where, when he realized that they were being attacked, he actually jumped off the Nevada, got, on, got to shore, with his crew and managed to get her loose and then he the, the ship obviously started moving so he jumped back in he jumped into the water swam back to the ship climbed back aboard to continue fighting the japanese well unfortunately even though she got underway she was bombed and he died but he did get a medal of honor posthumously awarded which um, is, is quite an achievement so I found that a lot more interesting than a 1918 destroyer that I couldn't find anything about. But uh, let's get back to game <laughs> after this little weird detour. So the Hill, Tier 5 destroyer, American destroyer. The Hill has a couple of special things to her. So let's quickly look through the stats of this ship. She's got um, about 12,000 hit points, which is decent for a Tier 5. She got the, stand, um, the standard American kind of pretty well uh, well-rounded armor. Her top speed in my setup uh, is at 39 knots or over 39 knots before consumables. There is another ship in the game that has a 39 knots uh, top speed. Uh, this one. The well, this one's got 41. Sorry, but her sister, the Leningrad actually has a 38.9 knots top speed. So the Hill, the Tier 5 American Premium Destroyer, is about as quick and as maneuverable and handles very much as a Leningrad, a Tier 7 Soviet Premium Destroyer. This thing is fast. She's not the most, uh, she's not the quickest in the turn, but man is she quick. So what else can she do then? Uh, 3.7 seconds turn time is not supreme, but it's okay, it's very much manageable. She has five guns, five 127 millimeter American guns, and these are L38 Mark 21s. They have a range of almost eight kilometers, and they have a reload time of six seconds. That is, and it's oh, an turret return time for a uh, rotation speed for 18, 18 degrees. Now, I wonder what other ship has these guns, the Mark 21s. If we look at the tech tree, the American tech tree, and I think we should we look up here probably. Yes, the Mahan has five L38 Mark 21s with a faster reload, but this ship basically has the Mahan's guns in all aspects 
other than reload, which is terrifying. <laughs> you, you're in tier five. You can citadel light cruisers with armor piercing at close range with these guns. Um, okay, let's move on then. <laughs> she gets uh, the torpedoes. Nine of them in three triple launchers. Now, the triple launcher arrangement is a little bit weird because it is such that uh, one launcher is center mounted, so but uh, two, launcher are side, two launchers are side mounted. And in effect, that basically means that most of the time you'll be firing two in one direction and then you're turning around and firing the other launcher um, the, the other way. It's a bit like a Nicholas with one less torpedo. So you know, the, the torpedoes are okay. Uh, with my, again, my setup, they've got a 6.2 kilometer range. They do an okay amount of damage and they reload reasonably quickly. The anti-air for tier 5 is very respectable. Um, but uh, again, you're not really going to shoot huge amounts down. You're in a destroyer after all. And the surface detection with 5.4 kilometers is not bad either. But that's not the air. So let's recap. We have a tier 5 destroyer which claims to be the game claims to be a world war 1 design which has the mayhem's guns and the handling of the leningrad she also gets a very interesting smoke screen so american destroyers get smoke screens starting at tier 6 obviously with the fire good the tier 5 nicholas does not get one uh, but the hill gets a smoke screen but it's not your normal smoke screen it is a fuel smoke so it's very short-lived. It only lasts for about 10 seconds, but you take it with you. So if you are aware of World of Warships on PC a little bit, the Italian cruiser line does a similar thing where you put up a smoke screen and then you actually have to keep moving to, uh, to make use of that thing. So what does this mean? Well, you, can't, you don't just stop, put up your smoke and then you'll be, well, not, not detectable for for... I don't know, 20, 20 odd seconds. With this thing, you basically, you use it during your run-up <laughs> because this thing is fast. She, the 39.3 knots, that's her base speed before consumables. You've got an engine accelerator. <laughs> this thing is seriously quick and <laughs> you can rush things and then when you're about 10 seconds away from them, you push your smoke. <laughs> And then you drop your torpedoes, you drive by, and then you drive away again. I've had enormous amounts of fun in the ship, which you can probably tell from the fact that there's a historical come of it after two days, which is uh, relatively unusual. But anyway, equipment time. We're in tier five. So there's not there, there's not a huge amount of choice. We could have um, we could have taken the main gun to to get a little bit um, faster reload, but from six seconds, it's not much of a difference. The, uh, the turret rotation is much more much more useful because you do find yourself having to swivel them around quite a bit. So getting that up was cool. Acceleration for the second could have gone with um, with the steering gear mod, but I do like the acceleration and the speed just because she not just yeah she she feels like a Soviet destroyer to me, and that's kind of how I play her as well. <laughs> Extremely aggressive. You can't really stealth top in this thing anyway, but she can get into ambush positions so quickly that um, you can just make use of the torpedoes and don't have to be don't have to be at range so what else supplies obviously high grade coal for surface detection uh, main battery reload and a little bit more ship speed because that's what we need more speed the commander i've uh, pilfered him from the fire good so he's not but he's not particularly high yet but uh, he's got the, the standard loadout. He's got preheating, so to get, get you off the ground quicker. He has the victorious charge, because nothing else made sense here. I actually have Daredevil rather than Survivalist, because she can do a little bit of hand, handling upgrade. And um, you do get, if you play aggressively, you, you do get shot quite easily, so uh, that's quite useful. Uh, fully plan. Um, would, would have loved to take the adrenaline rush later on as well, but. Um, I'm not sure if the mist weaver is going to affect the uh, this fuel smoke. So this is something that I'll actually have to try once I get once I get him up to more to more levels. I have the exploit weakness here because 
you do tend to set things on fire occasionally. These guns are really not bad. They, they fire rapidly and um, they are super useful. So that's the thing you get out of the uh, out of the blitz pass together together with obviously all the other useful things that you find in the blitz path uh, uh, the, all the resources and and all this all these kind of things so uh, without further ado let's go and play all right uh, two Wyomings a Batin a Königsberg a double Nicholas and a German destroyer okay and we're playing straight so straight is means we have a lot of good cover to go for and that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to be rushing towards the island in Seacup and grab it before anybody else can and see what we can do from there. So, full ahead. I'm going to switch over to the armor piercing because I can citadel or, or pe full pen at um, light cruisers at, at like five kilometers easily with these guns. I mean, these are almost tier, these are by all intents and purposes tier seven guns. So let's head forward. Uh, 44.6 knots. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> We're in tier 5, huh? <laughs> We're in tier 5 <laughs> with the preheating and the engine boost. Okay, let's get in here and I'm just gonna seat myself next to that island and see who's coming in round. Uh, so far nothing else in the cap. Can I grab C before someone else gets in? Oh, no, we've stopped and there's the V170. Okay. Um, I'm not spotted, so I'm in a good ambush position. So if he decides to to come in, or if the if whatever comes behind him, because there's more, it's going to be more than that, comes in. Oh, there's the Königsberg. Königsberg's out of top range, and it doesn't look like the V is going to move forward anytime soon. Are you? Okay, are you for me? Are you moving forward? Uh, no, no, he stopped again. Okay, probably because they are. Tr he's trying to stay away from our Pensacola, so I'm just going to start shooting at him. Oh, he probably dropped torps at this point, so I'm turning in. Oh yeah, there come the torps. And he's... Oh yeah, the Königsberg's paying attention. Okay. Destroyer. Uh, just drop a spread in your nose and in your way. One behind. Ow! Um, yes, I am right now broadsiding a Königsberg, which is paying attention. That's not good. Okay, let's smoke up. No! That hurt. Uh, just one second too late. But uh, this is the smoke. This is the this is the quick uh, movie movable smoke. So that was it, pretty much. Let's drop some torpedoes in his direction, and then we see that we get out of here. It, it doesn't last long. It lasts about ten seconds, but you can take it with you. <laughs> so it's uh, it's it's uh, what is the Pensacola doing? Why why are you rushing a battleship? And you're in a Pensacola. You don't have any torpedoes. You can literally just use your guns from a distance and set things on fire, or maybe, you know, armor piercing against the Königsberg, that'd be great. Um, you know the Königsberg has... Wait, that's not a Pensacola, is it? That's a Phoenix. Oh, that's why. Yep. I'm an idiot. Okay, it's a Phoenix. <laughs> well, it was one. <laughs> so he was trying to torpedo the, the battleship, and then the Königsberg topped him in return. Which means I'm now alone here against these two, and the Königsberg still paying attention, which means I'm gonna have to uh, unfortunately bump into the island because I can't afford to go around in the front. I have to go around the back as otherwise the Königsberg is going to absolutely murder me. I'm already down to 2.7k hit points. I'm going to stop shooting and just get the gun, uh, get the island between me and the Königsberg's guns. Ooh, 990 hit points. That's uh, two shells from him and I'm dead. But fortunately now he no longer knows where I am. And I am so quick to get out of this. He's probably thinking that I'm behind the island, given what he's shooting at. Uh, he doesn't know that I'm over here. The Clemson comes to help out, which is great. But we do need to do something about this Königsberg. We're one ship down. Uh, we're still leading in points because we're holding two of the cups and I haven't let them cup over here, but uh, we're going to have to rush somebody. Uh, why not rush a Königsberg? What could possibly go wrong? <laughs> so. I uh, still got the high explosive loaded, so guns out. Well, this is not about the guns. Smoke in. Now you can't see me. Shops go high. And he's in the turn, but I, the island gets in the way. I can't really get the torps the direction I want to. Maybe I'm still going to get a hit in. They might be just a tad too slow. And see that I get out of there again. Uh, one, two. Okay, if they, if, I, if they had hit properly, he would have been dead. But okay, that's, that's all right. The Clemson is taking care of the battleship. And the Königsberg is staying out of the cup. Aha, that was close. 600. <laughs> it's turning in. Some more torps this way. 
and um, just keep the island between me and him and make sure I'm not getting hit. So he can't see me, not because I'm not in, well, I'm just out of, outside detection range as well, but the island is also in the way, so he doesn't know where I am. So he might think that I'm running away because he's in a Königsberg, but I'm not. Okay, I give him a bit more lead because he's coming out of the turn and he speeds up. Now he sees me. Okay, now he should know what's what's the game. But maybe he thinks my torps are not yet reloaded. And this is not a ship that's very common quite yet, so maybe maybe people... Hey, gotcha! <laughs> wow, we, we did it! Koenig's back down. Okay, um, not the huge amount of damage we've done. What does it look like? The Clemson. Uh, yeah, you can take down the Wyoming. I'm not gonna kill steal that one. That's your one, that's yours, you deserve that one. Okay, heal a little bit. Okay, the destroyer in A is dead, which means uh, the battleship up there has no more influence on the map, on the battle, because he's way out of position. But that cruiser is going to take out the destroyer and then probably cap A, even though that's not going to help him. He should kill the destroyer and then rush us, because that's the only chance he has. Yeah, there. Um, destroyer is down. Now, you don't want to cap A, because you're not going to win this by capping. He has to kill us. Uh, we're one ship down, but we're leading in points. Oh, there's a Nicholas. Okay, armor piercing loaded. He hasn't seen me yet. And he sees the Clemson. Hello! <laughs> okay, let's get the guns turned around. Excuse me while I do that. I'm not even bothered with torpedoes. There we go. Nicholas is dead. Clemson has managed to thread the needle mostly. And um, we only see 15 seconds left. There's no way the Bertan can kill us both in that time. And we're just going to cap B again, uh, just to add uh, insult to injury. <laughs> Whew. That was a bit close, wasn't it? Uh, but uh, yeah, we haven't done the huge damage numbers because, well, uh, Königsberg in the way. But we, we managed to kill a Königsberg. I'm pretty pr quite pr proud of this. Oh, wow. Okay. So. Plot twist. <laughs> the Van Tower got the MVP and he was on the losing team. <laughs> oh, I, I feel for you. I, I really feel for you. Well done. Uh, give him a compliment. Uh, well, well played. Uh, there's only so much carrying you can do. <laughs> okay, let's do another one. This is too much fun. Okay, here we are again. Uh, again, double Wyoming, a Dana, a Kuma, a St. Louis, and a fail, fail platoon, because this is a tier 5 game, and a sh double Shenyang. <laughs> are we going to get a repeat of the, oh, my torpedoes are broken thing? Anyway, we'll see. We're in sand and sea again. So let's, uh, let's do the same thing we did in the last battle, and we're going to rush the island and see if we can ambush somebody. Okay. Forward we go, load the ape armor piercing because again, light cruises I can actually hurt. At least until like up to like five, six kilometers. After that, I would switch over to the high explosive. And let's get close to the island. I'm not even gonna use my speed boost because we're spawning so close to it. And yeah, there's the Xinyang. Hello. <laughs> and he's like, no. Okay. Uh, let's get some shots into him. I'm not gonna bother with torpedoes because he can dodge these easily. And there's a Kuma. Now, let's see, Kuma, you know that I'm here, right? So you're gonna, what, turn in, slow down? You're not shooting, so you're trying to drop torpedoes on me. Uh, are you slowing down? Yeah, you're slowing down. Okay, let's get you torps a bit in the rear, in case, you, so you're, in case you're slowing down any further and turning in. Or did you just slow down because you turned? And I thought you're doing smart things. No, you're not. Ugh, bother. All right, never mind. I've got torpedoes on the other side, and I'm sure that I know that you don't have any more torpedoes ready right now. So here you go. Uh, okay, and I can do the rest with the guns uh, because he see he didn't bother figure uh, fighting the destroyer who's right next to him. So okay, he's dead. <laughs> All right, next. The Shenyang's still there. Uh, he hasn't learned his lesson. Hello. <laughs> And you're still trying to torpedo me. You cannot torpedo me. You have deep water torpedoes. They don't work against me. I mean, I'm, not that you would have hit me with them even if they weren't deep water torpedoes, but that's beside the point. You still can't do it. Anyway, let's gun this guy down because the rest of my team's probably uh, the rest of their team's probably otherwise uh, otherwise occupied. And I don't think they're paying any attention to me here. So um, let's see if we can shoot him. Okay, he's running away. Uh, I don't want to. Uh, uh, 
Well, that's less. Uh, he's not a danger to me. I mean, he still hasn't figured out that he can't torp me, so... <laughs> Let's just run out on the battleships and uh, support our team a bit on the other side there. Uh, while, while shooting at the Shenyang, obviously. While we're at it. Uh, da -da, da -da. What do we got? Wyoming's. And a Danae. And I don't think anyone's paying any attention that there's a destroyer right behind them. <laughs> Hello. Yeah, he's still trying to torp me. Yeah, I know. You can't... <laughs> ah, smoke up, just in case anyone pays attention. And uh, drop some fun into the Wyoming. And then we can start shooting at the Shenyang again. <laughs> ah, I still have the high explosive loaded. Well, it'll, it, it'll work. There we go, six on the Wyoming. Uh, let's just kill the Shenyang quickly. Back to the armor piercing when I'm shooting at him, really. Uh, can I just kill the Wyoming there? Oh, no, someone else is gonna kill her, right? I'll we'll just drop some torpedoes in the general direction and see if they hit anything. They'll uh, target the other Wyoming. Okay, Chenyang's still trying to torp me. <laughs> Desperate! He must be like, what's wrong with my torpedoes? Why do they not work? <laughs> Why can I not hit someone? This game must be broken. No, it isn't. <laughs> I got more torpedoes. Okay, that was the Wyoming. Um, that was not the one I actually aimed at. And there's another torpedo. <laughs> and it hits the Shenyang! <laughs> Can we get a triple strike? No, no, someone else got the Wyoming. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Um, yep. <laughs> Oops. Uh, yes, I, I did the PSA in the last video, so, um, yeah. <laughs> but these are the kind of shenanigans you can get yourself into with this ship. Um, is she overpowered? Probably. I mean, in all honesty, I think she is. Uh, you, you can, um, you, you can, you can go toe to toe with the Gnevni in this thing, and um, you have a very respectable, respectable amount of torpedoes. You, um, you're playing in a tier where you're not always getting players who are super used to this sort of thing, and uh, honestly, she's just too much fun. <laughs> it's a seal clubber ship. Uh, that, that's for sure. But occasionally you, I mean, you get good players in tier 5 occasionally. Tier 5 is not super early tier anymore. It's not a Ubery, where you get into tier 3 games and can almost one-shot South Carolinas with that thing. So, um, she's great. I love this ship. Uh, she's about as much fun as The Sims, in my opinion. The, uh, the rolling forward smoke thing is a neat gimmick. I would definitely use it if you're in the final stages of a run-up or you need to do a drive-by on something that you actually cannot be spotted by, like the current, like a, a Königsberg, for example. Um, and then for, for those, just keep in mind that it's very short-lived. So you can only go undetected for about 10 seconds and then you're out in the open again. But combined with the speed, these relatively ridiculous power, ridiculously powerful guns and um, fast reloading torps, you can run rings around ships with this thing. And um, to me, she, play, for, for me, if you play her, play her like a Soviet destroyer, super aggressive, and just just have fun in this thing. So is, is she worth it? Is she worth the Blitz Pass? In my opinion, absolutely. Given that you're not just getting the ship, but you're also getting uh, a lot of other things. So if you're a destroyer player, and um, you like this sort of setup and you want to have something to... This is a YOLO ship. Right? This is a ship in which you just go around and have fun and uh, shoot people in the face. <laughs> so <laughs> if that's something you like doing, then uh, by all means, get, go, go get this one. Uh, I can thoroughly recommend it. Anyway, oh, as, as usual disclaimer, um, premium ships are not required to be good at the game. And if you're not good at the game, premium ships are not going to make you good at the game. So uh, keep that in mind, as always. Anyway, that's it for today. Uh, sorry for the sus uh, suspicious absence of Bard videos. It's just that Wargaming has put out so many fun things that everybody's curious about and um, that are, you know, current and hot issues. So I I'd rather figured I'd rather give you some some updates on that, and we'll get back to the Bard probably next time. Okay, that's it for today. And I hope you all have a good weekend, and I'll see you next time. Bye.